is banned from wearing black all-in-one garments or any combination which has the appearance of an all-in-one garment in public between 9 and 6 a.m. Well, look at this. Look at how much freedom he has, though. Wait a minute. This isn't all bad. He has all the way up until 8 p.m. He can start his day at a nice, smooth, like, you know, 9 or 10 a.m., and he has a full day ahead of him wearing his gym suit and wiggling around on the floor. He's got so much time. He just needs to change his business hours. Have you seen the news about the recent Somerset Gimp man who is banned from wearing leather gimp suits for five years? What's going on in the world? What? They're taking away all our freedoms. What happened? <laughs> Why has he been banned from the suits? <laughs> oh, come, oh, come on! Free my man! Somerset Gimp banned from wearing a gimp suit in public and crawling and wiggling or writhing on the ground for five, for five years. <laughs> well, what happened? Why? I also like how they have to specify that not only can he not wear the suit, but he can't crawl and wiggle on the ground for five years at least. <laughs> uh, there goes the worm cosplay for next Halloween. I think it's Reese Xander and Bone Apple. He was issued a sexual risk offender or order after police linked him to 25 incidents across the country. How do you track that? What detective did they have on this case where he was going through like old security camera footage looking for someone in this suit wiggling around on the floor? Like we got him. He was in Oklahoma back in December of 1998 and we told him not to. And then he did it again in 2007 at an Oregon concert for the Eagles. County. Oh, I thought that said country. Oh, I thought for sure that read country. I was like, holy shit. That is, that is a brutal uh, trail of breadcrumbs to follow. The, or the order also prevents the self-employed gardener from wearing any type of mask or face covering in public unless for medical reasons. You could make an argument this could be medicinal. Hey, I'm trying to avoid COVID. <laughs> like, the optimal way. A district judge imposed the restrictions following a hearing that, Brist that Bristol just week after was convicted of two offenses on public right? Potentially causing her. He terrified two female motorists in May this year. It was the latest in a series of incidents where a man in a skin tight in skin tight dark clothing was seen writhing on the ground and stepping out in front of cars in remote locations since 2018. What, why is he stepping out in front of cars? What the fuck is that? Wait, it's starting to all make sense now. I'd ban him too. The fuck? He's the resub aerosol. Pranks, I guess? Mmm, yeah, I guess maybe. The court previously heard that witness to an incident in October last year said they saw a man wearing a gimp suit who grabbed his penis over the top of his clothing and also gyrated against the floor. I mean, yeah, obviously, what the fuck else are you going to do with it? Lawrence Wilcox, representing Avon and Somerset Police, told the hearing that Hunt had been linked to 25 incidents in total. The evidence of the earlier incidents is based upon intelligence reports, and the latter report is more specific. They have an entire intelligence division dedicated to tracking down all the times he's wiggled around with his suit on. But we say, if the court is satisfied that the intelligence of the earlier incidents were of a sexual nature and committed by the defendant, there is material within that bundle that relates to that of a sexual nature and the acceptance of necessity. It, this doesn't scream sexual to me. This is, uh, only moderately alarming. I'll check that out in a minute, Alex. Peter Richardson, defending, said Hunt had taken a pragmatic and practical approach to the application. We are not contesting the application, but that is not the same as agreeing with everything that is set out. The sexual risk order was imposed for five years and also means Hunt will be on the sex offenders registry for the same period. Among the restrictions, Hunt is banned from wearing black all-in-one garments or any combination which has the appearance of an all-in-one garment. 
in public between 9 and 6 a.m. Well, look at this. Look at how much freedom he has, though. Wait a minute. This isn't all bad. He has all the way up until 8 p.m. He can start his day at a nice, smooth, like, you know, 9 or 10 a.m., and he has a full day ahead of him wearing his gym suit and wiggling around on the floor. He's got so much time. He just needs to change his business hours. He is also forbidden from crawling, wiggling, or writhing on the ground in public place while wearing a full body covering or clothing that appears like a full body covering and or mask or full face covering. So he can still do it in normal street attire, so he can still wiggle whenever he wants. Restrictions have been placed on his computer use and access to the internet. Imposing the order, District Judge Joanna Dickens <laughs> said a sexual risk order is quite a serious order. And that has a lot of obligations of you, and if you breach this order, you can go to prison. I only make an order if I think it's necessary to protect the public from you, and I do think it's necessary. Alright, who was the hot air balloon stripper? Hot air balloon flew over a military base to land behind a strip club. Chinese spy balloon spotted... Nope, that's not the one. Where was it? Because I'm only seeing the spy balloons. Yeah, how about this? Hot air balloon to strip club. Maybe it'll come up with that. It did not. I think you've made something up. You've done told a fib. Not at the moment, Randy, but we do plan on doing that. Have you heard of the beauty TikToker who was also a cartel leader along with her brother? She was known as Narco Queen. Just heard about that story today. I actually found a news article with the footage of the writhing. It's safe to watch on stream. It's called Police Investigate Unseen Footage of Somerset Gimp. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this case has got a lot of coverage. Interesting, interesting. Okay. I'll see for myself if it seems to be of sexual nature. I'll be the judge of that. This could just be sporty. <laughs> what an incredible start. Nothing sexual about this so far. This actually looks like something out of, like, the Babadook. <laughs> Pretty cool. But I'm not convinced that there's anything fetishistic about it. He's dehydrated. Give him something to drink. What, did, what is he saying? What is he saying? Sounds like he's casting a curse. He's speaking the ancient language. Stop adjusting. What's going on, man? So what does he do? He just wiggles around in the park here? <laughs> He's like a cryptid. That was a wholesome interaction. Most normal Southwest UK evening. <laughs> Bro was just chilling. Why are they bothering him? Well, they weren't. He kind of like wiggled up to them. Well, they probably thought he was dead, actually. I can totally understand why they'd like be a little concerned. Like you're just going to the park <laughs> and this happens. You'd probably be a little, uh, you know, on edge too, I think. Closest thing to Batman in this age. Yeah. Yeah, I'd compare him to Batman too. A lot of similarities. Oh yeah, I love Treasure Planet and Atlantis. I think they're both great. <laughs> 